surprised us. They uh, lined up in a double tight wishbone offense and came up with this pass play, and it was wide open. Uh, we did not cover it real well there. Uh, the young man from Independence dropped it. That could have been a key play right there. If they could have scored and gone in, might have been a little bit different. They come back with his pitch, and Keith Trailer uh, had a good football game and came in and, and made uh, the stop there. We really felt like that we could block a kick against them, and that's why we were putting pressure on them. And even though we didn't block the kick, we put a lot of pressure on them. This is a great play. First play from the line of scrimmage. Great pitch by Mason. Great block there by Saran Stacy. And little freshman Greg Irwin from Shawnee Mission Northwest goes 47 yards on the first play of the game for a touchdown. Big play. Uh, the way to start off a football game, I'm sure that uh, gave uh, Independence a little bit of doubt that uh, with one uh, uh, offensive play down now, the Ravens leave 7 to, uh, seven to nothing. Uh, <clears throat> we had gone to the ace and uh, had not run out of that in uh, a few uh, ball games, and we felt like that that would be uh, a fine play to open up with, and certainly it was. Our kickoff team that's been so bad all year played real well. That was Brett Overzan, uh, Joe Boone, which was specialty team player of the week, uh, had four of the nine tackles on the kickoff team. He's number 52. We'll have to watch him uh, on some of the later kickoffs. They got out of the wishbone and uh, got back their split back veer. Of course, most of the fans know that uh, Mike Calvert had to kick off his quarterback uh, about 10 days ago, and he did have uh, 10 days to work with number 20, and he did a fine game. The young man did start the Fort Scott game because uh, the quarterback had gotten a little bit of difficulty, but it certainly hurt uh, Independence because uh, this guy could run with a football, but he was not a very good passer. The guy that they got rid of was the third leading passer in the Jayhawk Conference, but, you know, that's the way it goes. Uh, our defense played well. We, uh, for two weeks in a row, uh, Coach Moore and Coach Fritz have done a great job in getting a super game plan together. And we just, uh, uh, even though Independence did some things a little bit different because they had two weeks to get ready for us, uh, uh, our defensive coaches did a great job. Uh, three downs and forces them to punt. Once again, very poor punt <clears throat> gives us a good field position once again on our end of the field. And even though we didn't get the punts blocked, we did uh, end up and uh, force them to hurry. Same formation, same play. Uh, this time Mason goes out in another big gain, but the officials claim that uh, we used our hands over there, and so we end up with a 10-yard penalty uh, to bring it back to uh, first and about 12 because it was at the – a spot of the play, and uh, that's too bad because that was a great run, a great read, and a great pitch by Mike, and uh, another fine run by Greg Irwin. So now we're set up there with uh, first down and 12 yards to go. Now we're going to go the other way. And Mike chooses to leave the ball with a fullback, and uh, Independence did a great job in shutting the fullback down. Um, Eric Jenkins, and it was too bad because his mother and uh, little brother were here from Florida to watch him play, and uh, he just did not have a very good football game. Uh, here, uh, Mike overthrows uh, the uh, receiver, and uh, here we run the draw play that uh, Eric has done so well. And you know, all you got to do is look up there and see we got about five or six red jerseys standing and looking. And when you have that on any kind of a play, you're not going to be successful. Uh, Kurt Clanton comes in and uh, forces us to, to punt for the first time. A little pressure from the outside, but Kurt gets a pretty good kick, and uh, we've got great coverage here. Uh, our punt team has done a good job all year long. We've got to continue to work on that because this weekend Butler County does a great job. They had a, a five-yard offsides penalty, so we decided to re-kick the ball, and uh, we came out because this time they kicked it into the end zone and brought the ball out to the 20-yard line, which means that the Pirates have to go 80 yards for any kind of a score. Our defense, and I can't say enough about uh, the job that those guys uh, did this past weekend. Uh, certainly, uh, Trailer and and uh, Stu Rathman play well every ball game. Our defensive backs, uh, Arthur McIntyre was our uh, player of the week, and Arthur had one of his better games. Uh, he graded out 81%, which is uh, 